there. <laughs> I'm Dweebo. <laughs> yes, and, and I just got a new play set that I wanted to share with you today. Now, the first piece is right over here. This big mountain here. Now, we're going to, right carefully, and we're going to put it right over here. That's a wonderful spot for that mountain. <laughs> All right. What a beautiful snowy landscape. Now I think that we should place some trees and bushes. And now I just happen to have right here. Mm -hmm. It's a nice tall tree. Let's plant this tree right about here. Yes, that's a beautiful tree, isn't it? <laughs> that looks like the type of tree I'd like to take a nap under. I'll get one more tree. I love taking naps under trees. <laughs> we'll put this one way over here. Very good. All right. Now we have two trees. Uh, how about a bush? Like a small shrubbery of some kind. Um, now I'm sure there's one down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There. That's a wonderful spot for that bush. I have this other piece. This is an old skull, a skeleton. Oh, it looks like a woolly mammoth. We're going to place it over the mountain. All right. It's time to play. Once upon a time, was a little girl named Esther, and she was a little explorer. <laughs> her companion, Mr. Wolf, was with her. <laughs> you see, she and Mr. Wolf had been friends a very long time. <laughs> they were playing along. Mr. Wolf had been with Esther her whole life and had always been her protector. <laughs> Yes, he'd always looked out for her. So she was not alone in her adventure. Off in the distance, they saw a figure coming towards them. As it approached, it looked more and more like a penguin. A rock hopper penguin. Ah, yes, Mr. Rock Hopper, hello. <laughs> they like to hop around on rocks. And so Esther, she played with Mr. Rock Hopper in the snow all day long. They threw snowballs at each other, and they built snowmen. <laughs> ah. While all along, Mr. Wolf looked after them, making sure that no one else was sneaking up on them. And then suddenly Mr. Wolf said, someone is coming. And they looked behind them, coming from the distance. Oh, there was another grand figure. It was the great reindeer. Oh, my goodness. Esther asked the reindeer, Mr. Reindeer, do you know Santa Claus? And the reindeer said, Why, yes, I know Santa Claus. I've met, I've met Santa Claus many, many times, and I've been to the North Pole many times. So you should come with me sometime. Oh, very good, Esther said. Mr. Wolf said, Quiet, all of you. Someone else is coming. And they looked to the very top of the mountain. And there emerged the great white lion. Great white lion is very rare. Look how majestic he is with his mane standing atop of the mountain. Hmm. Ah, there is nothing to fear as long as the white lion is looking after us. They heard another noise over in the river. They looked over and saw Madam Walrus. Oh, Madam Walrus was having a lovely time. Yes, she was having her afternoon bath. <laughs> she was laughing and, and splashing around. <laughs> and then Esther said, well, nothing to worry. That's just the walrus having fun. Suddenly, they heard a terrific sound coming from the distance. They looked over and saw... <laughs> coming towards them. Oh my! The penguin went to hide behind Esther, and the wolf 
stood between them, and the reindeer went over to help the wolf. It was a face-off. Would the gorilla make his move? Then suddenly, there was another thundering sound. an enormous woolly mammoth. My goodness, look at the size of its tusks. Magnificent. And it looked over and it saw Esther and her face off with the gorilla. It made its move. Now, suddenly, Mr. Gorilla was finding himself quite outmatched. You'd better think twice before doing anything to us, Mr. Gorilla, said Esther. The gorilla turned and said, Well, I was just wondering if you had any milk for my hot cocoa. And Esther said, Why, why of course, Mr. Gorilla, we have enough milk for everyone's hot cocoa. Would everyone like some cocoa? Yes, yes, yes. Then suddenly there was a loud roar from atop of the mountain. Roar! Roar! <sighs> Did someone say hot chocolate? <laughs> Ah, yes, you see, white lions, they, they love hot chocolate. <laughs> they all gathered together, and Esther shared her hot chocolate with all of her new friends. <laughs> you see, at the beginning, when Esther came out, she was a little afraid, but she was surrounded by her friends. And when you're feeling scared, sometimes a friend can make you feel better. You can protect your friends, and your friends can protect you. <laughs> yes, what we also saw today is how it can be a very good idea to share your feelings, so that people don't get the wrong idea. Like Mr. Gorilla here. Turns out he just wanted some milk. <laughs> but he had everyone quite worried. <laughs> if he'd just come out and said it, would have saved an awful lot of trouble. <laughs> We learned about sharing, didn't we? It's much more fun to drink hot chocolate with your friends than just all by yourself. <laughs> this has been so much fun. I hope you come back and see me again soon. My name's Dweebo, remember? Just type in D-W-E-E-B-O. Dweebo. <laughs> now I'm going to go get some hot chocolate. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> D W E E B O. Dweebo. <laughs>